this house represented the American dream. It just felt like home. Their move coincides with the onset of an unusual set of symptoms. Around the same time, my husband was complaining to me about his inner arms being itchy, a series of red bumps in, in different spots. I couldn't make sense of it. As I'm throwing the sheets into the washing machine, I notice two rust-colored spots. And when I touched them, they moved. My first thought is, oh my gosh, I hate living around all these trees and bushes because bugs are getting in. I didn't want to just like toss them on the floor, so I put them in the soap dish. The size of a pencil tip, the tiny brown bugs look harmless to Lauren, but she still shows them to Frank. My husband identified these immediately. I remember him going, they're bed bugs. What? I wasn't alarmed. I figured I'd come home the next day, pull everything apart, we'd vacuum clean, uh, set off a couple of bombs, and that would cure the problem. But for Lauren, something just doesn't add up. My stomach is in knots because something isn't right. Immediately, I saw a movement on the bed frame. And I couldn't believe what I was seeing. When I really looked at him, I realized that there were bed bugs on my baby. My whole world just came crashing down around me. I just figured that we were in deep trouble at this point. When your home is being invaded by things that you don't want there, whatever that pest may be, it's a very disturbing experience. Bed bugs are the pest of the 21st century. The way people travel, the way people ship things, it's very easy for these creatures to hitch a ride. Some cities are even reporting an increase of 500% or more. Frank and Lauren begin an all-night battle to root out the bugs. Once I started getting into the bed and pulling everything apart, they would start to scatter and go into little crevices and hide. It was pretty disgusting. It was pretty disgusting. This went on from 1 o'clock in the morning till 7 o'clock in the morning. But it will take more than spearing a few bugs with a knife and throwing out some clothes to kill off this microscopic menace. Frank and Lauren hope their extreme cleaning will have vanquished the bugs once and for all. But again, a week later, I was getting bit. The battle moves to the next level with a professional exterminator. He said that from what he saw, that it had been quite a few months that they had been living there. And it was a pretty decent sized infestation. And once established, bed bugs can take over every corner of a room. The initial feeling was, we have someone here, they're going to take care of our problem, this is going to be over soon. We started to feel a little bit better at this point. My husband and I are sitting there one day, and he stops talking. And he gets up, and he goes and looks at the floor. And he said, look. And there was one crawling across the kitchen floor. blood splattered out of this bug. That was my child's blood. It was so offensive to me. Despite professional pest control treatment, the bugs have reappeared and somehow they've spread downstairs. All the money spent on pest control measures upstairs has been for nothing. Lauren and Frank are now spending thousands of dollars on more extermination efforts. We called for our follow-up treatment um, and took a contract out to, to treat the whole house. And this time, they sprayed everywhere. Every single room in the entire house. Surely, it's game over, even for the battle-hardened bedbug. A week after the second treatment, the bites began again. 
When we apply pesticides, it may eliminate 99% of a pest, but we don't want to underestimate a pest's ability to survive. The night I woke up with 100 bites, you know, on my neck and another 300 on my forearms, that was the turning point. I was done. I was finished. I didn't know what else to do. All the pest control measures so far have failed. The roses have spent nearly all their life savings and have no idea what to do. They expected professional extermination treatments to solve the problem, but the bed bugs are back. With the entire house now plagued by these resilient vampire insects, the roses discover an extreme but expensive final option is available. Total obliteration. Bed bugs are very susceptible to temperatures over 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Once they're exposed to those temperatures, they die very quickly. And so people are using heat to control bed bug infestations. That will kill all stages of bed bugs, both the ones that are walking around and the eggs. We did what we had to do. We pulled together every last penny we had and had this company come in and heat our home to 150 degrees. It's their last ditch effort. Heat is piped in from a gas burner. The entire house is baked. Three months later, Lauren wants to feel positive. I know that they're gone. I can move ahead now. <laughs> 